over here we get straight into it i'm gonna start with the candy nuts this is the bag of nuts that i'll be using because it's the only one i could find available to me because you know i shop at aldi um but this one had all the candy pineapples and the cranberries and of course i'm gonna pick them out so you know y'all know i keep it real over here i don't play with y'all you know everything won't be perfect so of course i'm gonna pick them out and then i'm gonna add some butter i'm gonna add sugar and water now um, the stove is right now the stove is completely off and once i added those three ingredients then i'm gonna turn the stove on to medium heat medium heat heat you can't be too low and you definitely can't be too high you will burn everything so you want to just start coating the nuts with the sugar the butter and the water and then after like three minutes it looks like this and at this point you want to mix it i want y'all to see how everything is like evaporating that's what you want because that's how it's going to become candied once it evaporates so after this happens, I'm going to finish it off with some salt and some vanilla. You can definitely flavor this however you want. Um, some people put cinnamon in here or things like that. Um, but I just kept it simple and it was just really, 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 really good. So at this point right here, as you can see, everything is evaporated. And now I'm going to show you guys what I do next. Now this appetizer is perfect for, you know, quick snacking your guests and everyone could snack on them while you finish preparing dinner, like popping things in and out the oven. I know it's not ideal, um, but you know, it's delicious and it's quick and it's easy to make and you know, it'll keep them nice and busy and out your hair <laughs> while you're trying to get everything nice and together. This is the silicone mat that I told you guys about in my previous video of, you know, tips and tricks for thanksgiving so make sure you guys you know just be nice and prepared to make things easier on yourself so these are what they look like i'm gonna allow them to set and then i'll show you guys what that looks like and yeah so this is the first appetizer it's gonna chill out while we work on the second one so now we're gonna move on to something a bit more savory i have some zucchinis here as well as some brussels sprouts uh you can pretty much use the vegetables you prefer but i feel like these two right here they're cheap they're easy to use you can do plenty of things with them and so this is why i chose these two vegetables i'm gonna rinse them up in some water and vinegar y'all know you gotta wash up your vegetables and um yep yeah, so i just use vinegar water wash them up good get off any dirt gunk anything that's on the outside these are not organic or from like you know whole foods or anything so i make sure i wash them up really really good so now uh with the brussels sprouts you just want to take off the the ugly leaves on the outside you don't need to do much and then like cut off the little brown end at the tail end like right there and that's it and the brussels sprout is prepped like it's super fast all this prepping you could definitely do the night before even wrapping the brussels sprouts which i'm about to show you in just a second even anything you could do it all the night before um and you'll be good to go just pop it in the oven this is the zucchini you want to cut it about mm, about a half an inch thick and you know you don't want to get it too thin because then you won't be able to hold it up while it's cooking so i'm going to season this with spicy girl and it's lit lemon pepper thank you guys so much that supported my sale uh it means a lot it meant a lot i'm currently completely sold out but everything will be back in about a week or two and i'll make sure i remind you guys all right so first we're gonna work on the zucchini i have some ground mild italian sausage you can use spicy if that's what you prefer and the best white cheddar cheese oh my goodness uh, Aldi has the best <laughs> white cheddar cheese. I don't. I never leave that store without grabbing that white cheddar. It's so 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 good, and it's only two bucks, two dollars. So 
I love that cheese very much. So this is the zucchini laid in my pan on some parchment paper. And now I'm just going to brush the zucchini with a little butter on each one. This is just more so to give it color and even cooking, you know, while it's, you know, while it's in the oven. And so then I'm going to take the cheese. You could cut it however you want. I find that if I cut it in a rectangular shape, that um, if it's perfectly on top just like i'm doing right here and then you want to pick off like little pieces of the sausage and just add it right on top and that's it like it's super fast super easy this is another thing you can absolutely prep the night before uh just like i have here all you would do is cover it with some uh aluminum foil or plastic wrap and pop it in your refrigerator the night before and you're good to go just pop it in the oven the next day So after about 25 minutes on 375, this is how it looks. You guys already know everything depends on the kind of oven you have, uh, what you got going on. If it's a weak oven, you need to crank it up. If you have a, you know, just make sure you pay attention. It needs to be sizzling. It should be sizzling when it's in the oven. If it ain't sizzling, go to 400 degrees, but it needs to sizzle. <laughs> now I'm just going to take a toothpick and a, a half a strip of bacon and wrap it around the Brussels sprout. That's it. <laughs> Wrap it around, secure it with a toothpick, and then we're going to pop it in the oven, and that's it for that. Now, the dipping sauce, you can use anything you want, but I had a yogurt ranch sauce in the refrigerator, and I just used that, um, and it was, you know, still okay. I just feel like I should have made a, another sauce from scratch, but any of your favorite dipping sauce, some sriracha, honey, anything would work here. So again, just wrap it with a half a strip of bacon, secure it with a toothpick, and this is what it looks like right out the oven, uh, 30 minutes on 375. <laughs> All right, so this is what it looks like. Can you imagine you put this out in the appetizers with some drinks on the side? You will never hear a peep out of your guests. They'll be so quiet eating, munching, <laughs> while you're getting the food together heating things up and you know just get them nice and settled while you do your thing in the kitchen or if you're busy doing whatever it is and you want to keep them like you know occupied this is a great you know a great way to do that you could also put out some fruit uh fruit is another option that's great i do have another video that i've done before on appetizers i'll make sure i list that below just in case anyone doesn't like this one and they want to try that one and the other one is actually really good as well so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're enjoying all these videos recipes ideas and if you do drop me a comment if you make anything tag me and let me know what you think and i love y'all bye